South Korea and Japan have clashed at the World Trade Organization six times to settle dispute over the years. Out of the six cases, three are ongoing, but in the ones settled so far, the WTO has ruled in favor of Seoul. Kan Yong-woo tells us more. Of the six disputes between South Korea and Japan brought so far to the World Trade Organization, three of them have been concluded in favor of South Korea. Seoul filed a complaint with the WTO in 2004 calling for Japan to remove its quota on imports of Korean seaweed. South Korea withdrew its complaint two years later when Japan decided to raise the quota. In 2006, Tokyo imposed tariffs of 27 percent on DRAM made by SK Hynix, causing another WTO dispute. The WTO eventually ruled in favor of South Korea in April 2009, and Japan had to lift the tariffs. The most recent dispute settled was about South Korea's ban on imports from Japan's Fukushima region because of radiation and water. Tokyo claimed Seoul's decision went against the international trade agreement, but the WTO sided with South Korea in April. Then there are three cases in progress, all filed by Tokyo. Japan filed a complaint in June 2016, claiming that South Korea's anti-dumping duties imposed on Japanese air pressure control valves violated WTO regulations. And in June last year, Tokyo filed another complaint accusing Seoul of putting illegal anti-dumping duties on Japanese stainless steel bars. The WTO's dispute settlement body formed a subcommittee in January to deal with that case. Lastly, Japan has claimed that the South Korean government's restructuring measures injecting public funds into the struggling shipbuilding industry violated the WTO's agreement on subsidies. Kan Yong-woo, Arirang News.